Welcome back, everybody. My birthday special for Chris Sarandon with another PlayStation 2 game. And this time around, we're going to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Let's find out if I am indeed smarter than a fifth grader. Here we go. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Okay, let's get our player out here. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars... I'm going to pick Alicia. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. Reading, Math, Astronomy, English... World Geography, Art, Science, Earth Science, Inventors, U.S. Geography. I'll start with first grade readings. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. What would someone who is in a pickle need help? I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. $1,000. All right. You've got first grade math. Okay, the two thousand dollar question is true or false? Two thousand three hundred sixty-seven is an odd number. That is true. Locking in. You've got two thousand dollars. All right. Woohoo! When trying to figure out whether the numbers even are odd, look at what numbers at the end. It's time to call a new classmate. It's you and me, George. Let's pick a subject. Second grade astronomy. Okay. For $5,000, here is the question. True or false? The U.S. Space Corps runs America's exploration into space. I'm going to say false. George locked in his answer very quickly. Jeff, I'm quitting here. No, I'm not. Crap. I didn't want to quit. I wanted to answer the question. So I'm going to restart this game. That wasn't fair. I didn't want to quit there, I wanted to answer the question, but it wouldn't let me. So I'm gonna play a game. I'm gonna play again. That wasn't fair. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I was doing so good, too, and I wanted to answer the question. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Okay, pick a classmate and let's get... I'm going to pick Alicia. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. Reading. It's the same as before. All right. Okay, All right. you're playing for $1,000 on this first question. Locking in. So it's the same question as before, that's good. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Awesome. Okay, you're playing for $2,000. Okay. You've got $2,000. All right. Your classmate. I'm going to go with George. You've got your. 
Okay. okay. You're false. playing for five thousand dollars. Locking in. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Good. That's the answer. Yes. It's false. NASA is the organization that's responsible for exploring space. Pick your next. Second grade English. Okay. The ten thousand dollar question good. is. How many consonants are in the word ladybird? One, two. George three, locked four, in five. his answer very quickly. That's five. Locking in. You got that one right. Ten All grade. right. Did you know that there are more consonants in the world's languages than there are letters in any single language's alphabet? We have to say goodbye to this classmate. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Pick another subject. Third grade world geography. Okay. You get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter located. what happens Asia. the rest of the game. Okay. I'm locking in my answer. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Woohoo! Got $25,000 guaranteed. Outstanding! The Yellow River is located in China. Which subject? Third grade art. Okay. No matter what happens, you've got $25,000. It's almost like a freebie question, because if you get it wrong, the worst thing that can happen to you is you walk away with the exact amount of money that you have right now. Locking in. You've got $50,000. All right. All right. This subject must be your specialty. Michelangelo's beautiful Sistine Chapel is a famous fresco. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars... It's you and me, Juliet. Pick another sub... Fourth grade science. Okay. The $100,000 question what is... What do you call the answer to your scientific questions using observations? Juliet locked in her answer very quickly. Uh... Conclusion. Locking in. You've got one hundred thousand dollars. One hundred thousand yes. dollars. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. Coming to a conclusion as part of the scientific method. Pick another subject. Fourth grader science. All right, for one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars, may we see the question, an please? Of what natural process? I will say, I'll say erosion. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $175,000. Yeah! Yes! Getting there. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Devil's Tower in Wyoming is composed of igneous rock. The surrounding sedimentary rock was eroded. You're down to your last classmate. Which subject? Fifth grade adventure. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Where we had electronic television, someone invented a mechanical one. Lewis locked in his I'll answer. Say true. I'm going to lock in my answer. Are you feeling confident with your answer? Yes. You should, because you are right. $300,000. Right. Nicely done. Paul Nipkow had patented such a television in 1884 but couldn't get a clear enough picture to make it practical. Fifth grade U.S. Geography. Okay. For half a million dollars, here's the well, question. Which of the following state capitals would you not find in a state border in Mississippi? Jefferson City, Missouri. I'm going to lock in Missouri my... Missouri does not border Mississippi. You've got $500,000. All right. Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. You do understand what you're going to be playing for next, right? Absolutely. It's the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. 
And it's time to find out the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with $25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? Jeff, I'm quitting here. You've dropped out of school. You've won $500,000. All right, it is time to say those eight magic words. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. I'm not smarter than a fifth grader, but I am richer. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time.